Good morning. Y'all are so blessed that I'm sitting here this morning because there was a tiny little blimp up <laughs> and I might, I might not have been sitting here. I might have been laying here. I swear, it's so weird how things just keep happening to me. <laughs> and thank, thankfully, my rescuer, Jim Colosso, is here. And tall man, save the day. Yay, 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 yay. And, and I swear, y'all, we, we were going to be talking about flowers. And all of a sudden, we're all stopping, stopping up and stuffing up. And we're all drinking water. And we can't breathe because we're just talking flowers. Now, these are artificial flowers. But the flowers are about to bloom. The bees are about to do their job. <coughs> and we're all paying the price, aren't we? The Botanical Garden and Ball Ground is very, very important to many, many people, but especially about a handful of 20 who started the Garden Club. That's right. Over 50 years ago. Over 70 years 70 ago. 70 years ago. Over 70 yeah. years ago. Now, y'all are kind of new members. Yes. <laughs> New members compared to the old ladies. But we love the heritage, the old stories, the beautiful places that people have donated their plants from. Can we talk a little bit about the plant sale that's going to happen? Absolutely. Uh, we are so blessed to be having our seventh annual. Seventh annual uh, festival. Yeah. Fle festival and plant sale May 11th on Saturday, May 11th. Uh, the Saturday before Mother's Day. Do y'all always choose it to be right before Mother's Day? Right Is before that Mother's Day. Works? So we yeah. want everybody to bring their mom to the garden. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's yeah. a great idea. And when we think about that garden, it's free to everybody. A lot of people don't even know it exists. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Gosh, not only does it exist, it doesn't cost you anything to enjoy it. That's right. What in this world is free today? Nothing. <laughs> well, that's Nothing. Al that's also why we have the festival because our club has about 70 members now. We maintain it at, uh, it's not something supplemented by the city. Right. And uh, it's a little over an acre, but within the garden itself, there's 16 different gardens. Right. Uh, an, a cottage garden, an heirloom garden, a butterfly garden from the uh, uh, Rosalind Carter Butterfly National Trail. Yes, yes. yeah, that's so uh, awesome. We have a tiny store. Japanese garden. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Japanese mm -hmm. garden. Mm -hmm. and uh, Entrance gardens. A bog garden. So, mm -hmm. and uh, something's always in bloom all year round right. there. And if you have plants, y'all are still looking for some plants. Even though you have a lot this year, you always want more. Absolutely. Always. Yeah, the more the merrier and yeah. the more the money. Or. Yes. <laughs> well, the way that we, we raise the money is we go to, uh, we, we call them digs. Mm -hmm. And so far this year, we've been on about nine in, in private gardens around the county, typically. And some people have uh, acres of flowers and plants. Mm -hmm. And they come in and let us uh, uh, separate them, uh, move them around, or they're just, they need to get, their, they need to move or something. Uh -huh. So we probably have over three or 400 different varieties. Mm -hmm. At uh, the very least. Yeah. Dozens of viruses, uh, uh, daylilies of all color and mm -hmm. size. Uh, and those roses. come back. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the great thing about those. Mm -hmm. They keep giving perennial. every year. Yeah. They give every year, and all you have to do is be nice to them. Yes. Don't run over them with a lawnmower and be sweet. <laughs> yeah. and, and they just keep coming back. So, they yeah. do like to be talked to. Yeah, and yeah. they multiply. Yeah. Not yes. only do they come back, they bring friends with them. Yeah. So yes. that's what's really, really cool. And so. the thing that we do is we, when people get multiples, we, we come and we dig what they want taken out. We try to leave the mother plant if that's what they want and fill the dirt back in and leave it looking as nice, if not better, than when we found it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, we were talking about digs, and my buddy, Mike Smith, I always promote this book, and I keep telling y'all, go pick up a copy of God Keeps Showing Up. God showed up in their garden. Oh, because absolutely. they have, oh my goodness gracious, have you ever seen so many flowers in your life? And something's always doing something. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. it's amazing. We've had a dig at, uh, at uh, Mike and Diane's house, mm -hmm. and we have a ton of Linton roses this year, which are all different colors and sizes. And what's fun with those is that the, it blooms in the winter time and it's in blooming, and it stays green all year. Isn't that crazy? Something yes. that can bloom in the winter? Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we're going to show some photos from last year's event. So if y'all didn't get to go, you will get to see these photos and you will see when you go to the sale, there will be little pots that you will purchase. And a lot of people take a wagon and fill mm -hmm. the wagon full and just get what they want. Now, 
you run out of some of the good stuff early. So we have to recommend that people come early. So mm -hmm. let's go to the photos. We've got Garden Club photos, and, and that's kind of how you will be purchasing. Now, y'all, who decides, and these are gift baskets that you can also bid on because a lot of people donate gift baskets to the Garden Club, and that's another fundraiser, part of the same thing, and that's from the uh, Barrel House Coffee, and if you haven't had their coffee, mm -hmm. oh, yum, oh, yum. But it, the Garden Club is giving back, the community is giving back, and it kind of developed a relationship with everybody. That's right, yeah. Because if you're new to Ball Ground, you want to go and visit it. If you're old to Ball Ground, you want to welcome people to come and see mm -hmm. it. So it just develops relationships. And, and there we have vendors, there would be vendors. Are there going to be food trucks this year? Yeah, absolutely. We have, uh, oh gosh, uh, 40 vendors this year, mm -hmm. about 10 more. We've got a couple food trucks from uh, Biscuits in the morning, I love, the hot did dogs. Did you see hamburger. that we had our police officer there? You know, if uh -huh. we were in some cities and states in the nation, they wouldn't let us welcome a police officer or something. <laughs> but I saw that back the blue, and that was pretty cool. Absolutely. They're that was there. pretty cool. It's right next to the police station, so yes. you're very secure. Yes. And yes. they will be there with us again this year. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. So we've got a lo local artisans, pottery. Um, uh, we've got a professional gardener setting up with some really good uh, gardening tools. Mm -hmm. uh, different artists, uh, uh, Sunshine Life locally here, some, some churches and groups like the Lions Club and, uh, um, and other ones are, are also doing children's activities. Mm -hmm. So you can bring, awesome. bring your, yeah. ch your kid and they can make uh, paint uh, rocks, doing uh, things paint like rocks. That. they can plant some beans on there, play mm -hmm. some cornhole, mm -hmm. get some things. Uh, we have uh, somebody doing uh, different uh, type of uh, kettle corn and uh, pe uh, peanuts and, and uh, uh, now this, yeah. were y'all at the event this week? This is the Easter egg hunt in Ball Ground. It was, and great. It was the mm -hmm. Methodist Church and the Baptist Church came together. And let me tell you what, the kids had a blast. And in about seven minutes, hundreds and hundreds of eggs had been found. <laughs> <laughs> they had so much fun. And this again, this is, this is part of being part of Ball Ground. Calvin Farmer Park is available to everybody. It is free. You go and enjoy. You have fun. You do your events. They have soccer there on the field. And when you look at the house in the background, that was actually Calvin Farmer's father's house. So it's really, really cool that we are preserving the past and embracing the future. And that's part of what Ball Ground, that's what makes it so special. Well, at Calvin's Farmer, last summer they had the Indians. Yes. The Cherokee came and we did a reenactment. We actually shot all that yeah. with a drone, yeah. Of, uh, yeah. Of, of doing the actual yeah. Ball Ground out yeah. there. And there, there are three siblings who get along famously, and there are two of my favorite people. <laughs> and happy, happy, happy to those people. The Kaler family, love them, love them, love them. And uh, Mr. AC just passed over that 80 year mark and oh my goodness, and there is my dear, dear friend Bonnie Lacey <laughs> from Albertville, Alabama. Her husband taught Sunday school for many, many years and there you see them with kids and uh, grandkids, just precious, precious family. This was on Easter Sunday and then this, this is probably my favorite because I got to see Pastor Travis was preaching and their son Lee was leading the music and boy talk about taking some heritage along the way that's three generations that have been in that church for over 75 years so that's pretty awesome pretty that awesome that's awesome. Antioch Baptist Church over in Forsyth County and there's our sweet buddy Edwin sweet sweet guy and uh, what, what a precious 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 memory Easter Easter with your family and there's my sweet Bonnie Ah, uh, boy, you talk about a precious lady. Yep, that's it. So sweet and so sweet to see the families get together and uh, spend time enjoying and, and thinking about those that are not there, you know, because so many families, every holiday, your group gets a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller because yes, somebody's gone. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things about the garden that's really cool. You can do things in memory of somebody. Yep. There are some bricks that Absolutely. you can do. Now talk a little bit about the bricks and how do people get involved in that? Well, if you come to the garden in the pavilions, a little form, or you can do it, you can sign up online, uh -huh. ballgroundgardenclub.com. And um, I've got a, a, a stone a brick for both my father in law and, and, and my dad from mm -hmm. World War II on there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, we have a nice little circle, and we can, uh, you can purchase the memorial bricks on there. You know, you're talking about in the community, uh, the garden club is very active in the community. Last year, uh, Evelyn, uh, and Karen hosted the uh, 
trunk or treat. We had right. over 200 kids right. show I up, I and was it was phenomenal. I was there. <laughs> uh, spooktacular. Yeah. Yeah, spooktacular. Yeah. I apologize yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we weren't sure yeah. how many to expect, but we... Over 300. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, we didn't think we would have that many, but we know we had at least 300 children. That's yeah. not counting adults. That mm -hmm. was just children. Well, it 200 hot dogs, so mm -hmm. somebody, yeah. somebody yeah. enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. But... Uh, and mm -hmm. it was so cool because we saw generations there. We'd see a mom, a yep. child, a grandmother, and sometimes a great grandmother. So and it was really cool. And then the pets cool. were there too as well. It was uh -huh. it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. so much fun uh, doing the you know looking at all the different costumes that the kids had. They were spectacular. The best costumes I believe I've ever right. seen. Right. And you know it was funny when y'all did that. Evelyn had gotten a chair from an estate that we were doing an estate yeah. sale up in Morganton, and this had to be a 1960s chair and she cleaned it up and y'all used it for mm -hmm. a photo shoot and I was like it was perfect because it was fall colors and and I said oh my gosh we were going to put that chair in the dumpster and it turned out perfect so there mm -hmm. you go recycling absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah now is the spectacular going to happen again this year uh, absolutely mm -hmm. it's going to happen again in October I forget the exact date I think it's around the 26th but mm -hmm. But it'll be on our website and yeah. our Facebook page. And it'll be on a Saturday, just like it was yes. last year. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so much fun. And so many kids. And I loved because we gave away Hot Wheel cars and we gave away Beanie Babies and we gave away, what was it? There were three things. Oh, cotton candy. Because mm -hmm. I love cotton candy. So I thought, well, we'll do some cotton candy. And those were the three hits out of everything. And I yes. was like, and people kept coming back. Could I have some more of that cotton candy? Yes, and your mother's going to kill me because it's pure sugar. <laughs> pure sugar yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was really neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we saw people from everywhere come to the garden everywhere. that day. Everywhere. Yeah. Um, and the little boy and his father that won the uh, costume contest was Back to Future theme, uh, uh -huh. father and son, and they were spectacular. I that wish I so cute. sent you a picture of that. It was so cute. I've got, I actually posted it on my Facebook mm -hmm. page. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was really, really cute. And one of the ones I really liked was the little cow. Do you remember that little boy that was mm -hmm. a cow? It mm -hmm. was so cute, <laughs> you know. And that's getting families together mm -hmm. out in the community. And Ball Ground is a walking community. You mm -hmm. can park your car in town and you can walk to the Botanical Garden, you can walk to restaurants, you can walk to the library. There are so many things that you can see right in downtown Ball Ground. Absolutely. And well, one of the cool things is the train. Yes, it comes through. Yeah, it doesn't come through on the weekend. Nope. So people who visit on the weekend, but I see a lot of kids at the burger bus eating. And then when the train comes by, you see their parents jump up, take them outside, so they can. We have 12 cars on the train, y'all. It's not a big deal. That's, but a, that's a big train. To kids, yeah. it's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to kids, it is a big deal. So, well, we, yeah. We've also been working with the Ball Ground STEM Academy uh -huh. and their group. And we've done a couple of things. They put in planters and then show them how to plant and work with that. Uh, we've done uh, uh, pollinator events with them. Uh, put in uh, bird houses, bluebird houses. The, uh, one of the members of the club has put over a hundred of them in the county alone. Isn't that crazy? On it. Mike and, Lloyd. And don't y'all yeah. have a bird bird watch for the bluebird blue bird. houses? Yes. Yeah, we have yes. bluebirds and uh, then, bluebird watch and bluebird uh, trail. So uh -huh. Mike Lloyd had set up, and he does a fabulous job. He builds most of the bird houses himself, mm -hmm. and uh, you sign up, and he'll come and uh, build a bird house. Um, and you check it to uh, the progress. You can lift up the little edge to see the nest uh -huh. and the birds. Um, and the mothers don't mind as long as you don't touch. Everything's uh -huh. fine. But I wondered about yeah. that. If you mm -hmm. get near it, does that change the way the mom reacts? Well, you can lift the sides up, you know, just one side, and mm -hmm. you can see in. And as long as you don't touch, you leave them alone, they're fine, you know. Uh -huh. just, uh -huh. And it's so fabulous to watch from the building of the nest to the birds laying the eggs and then seeing them hatch and then them becoming fledglings and when they finally fly. They're gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, they're yeah. great uh, insect eaters. I mean, they mm -hmm. really do a phenomenal mm -hmm. job on it. We did another event with a local library on birds uh -huh. on there and uh, it was very cute. We had some of the uh, garden club members dress mm -hmm. up as different type of birds. Oh, I love it. Uh, Vice be, President yeah. Mary Robotic, she dressed as a red cardinal. It was the cutest it thing was. I've ever seen. She did such a fabulous job. Uh, and she did real, you know, real time bird call, you know, uh -huh. for them to hear uh -huh. when she did it. It was the cutest thing. It That's was really crazy. fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how do people get involved in things like that? How do the parents know that that's going on? 
Uh, the library puts out a notice uh, in the library and on their website, mm -hmm. you know, and, and people just sign up for it, you know, uh, and come. And with the STEM Academy, Academy it's through the school. Uh -huh. And so, uh, and on the we, web page. We, we, post, mm -hmm. we post most things in Facebook. Like for the festival, we've been doing it for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for the last three or four months. And same way with Spooktacular and mm -hmm. these different things. Yeah. Um, but we do, uh, other things we do, we work with the senior center and help them uh, plant things in the beginning of that. And we've actually done in classes mm -hmm. at the senior center for them. Mm -hmm. So with the 70 people in the club, we're very well involved mm -hmm. in different things. And uh, like I said, it is a community effort. Uh, you're talking about the uh, the raffle. We'll have over 40 gifts from local businesses, right? And that generates a lot of income mm -hmm. to take care of the garden. And it'll be in the pavilion, which also has a couple weddings every year. Mm -hmm. We have one mm -hmm. coming up in September, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's always fun to watch. Yeah, and yeah. Mike Mike is typically the pastor the, the pastor yeah. of the event on yeah. there. They somehow get him and not involved <laughs> in it. Yeah. Now, what if people have plants and they want you to come and dig? And um, like, I'm thinking about the things that come back. The iris, the don't black-eyed Susans come back? Yes, they yes, do. They do. Mm -hmm. And uh, is it um, lilac or heather? Don't they both come back? Because I've seen some of those in people's yards. And yesterday I took some mm -hmm. pictures, and I, I was going to show y'all, and it was one of the pictures we showed. It's this little purple stuff coming up on the ground. It's not thrift. Mm -hmm. And I just got down there with my camera and I was just taking this picture. And I want to ask you when we get off the air because I can show you where it's coming up and maybe <laughs> we can steal a steal. No, we'll borrow a little bit of that. <laughs> but but I'd never mm -hmm. seen that before. And mm -hmm. it's you can tell that it's old stuff because it's coming under the ground now and it's just about this high. Mm -hmm. But it's not thrift and it's purple. And I thought, well, that's interesting. That's one I don't yeah. know about. We do, uh, we've got a Juga's Coming up right now, it's great in the shade. Uh, uh, the periwinkle, which is lone ground cover, has uh, purple and white flowers uh -huh. on it. We've got uh, we've got some butterfly bushes, Rosa Sharon, that we've been propagating mm -hmm. for people on it. But if people want to go to you know ballgroundgardenclub.com, just hit the uh, uh, contact button, and they can just send a little note. And we'll get mm -hmm. we'll get right to them. There's a phone number on there as well. And the sale isn't until May, so you have different groups of people babysitting these plants now? Absolutely. Do you kind of have daycare going on for plants? Our <laughs> hard-working digging team have outdone themselves. They work so hard to go to these digs, and then what, they have to be potted up. Yeah. And then they have to be babysat, babysat. until it is time for the plant sale. Yeah. And we have Monita and Teresa and... Lisa Mao and Jim and Tina and I can't even think. Oh, about, we have a uh, dozen people taking yeah. care of plants. Mm -hmm. I've I've got over 400 around my house right mm -hmm. now that I, I get to get up and water and mm -hmm. I know that I've given a couple hundred others to other people mm -hmm. in the garden mm -hmm. club to take care of. And but that's mm -hmm. that's the one of the real fun parts yeah. of the mm -hmm. garden club. We we do take care of the garden. We've got a um, we'll be there tomorrow taking care of it mm -hmm. uh, and and adding some yeah. things to it. But then you know. I never potted anything till four years ago. I was I was sitting on a bench. I was going to ask yeah. you. You're one of the first men to join the club. Who rooked you into joining? Was it Jenny Byers? Jenny Byers, uh, <laughs> I uh, was Diane. Say Jenny could rook anybody because she's it was so during, precious. It was during COVID. I was sitting mm -hmm. in the pavilion getting barrel house coffee on a, uh -huh. a conference call, and here are these six women c coming down Beverly, and you know they're interrupting my call so we stopped that and they started asking me what we're doing and on this I said well we're kind of interested in gardens so the next thing I know um, th they call me the garden mule because <laughs> what, the what, what they do is they say take that you know take that tree and put it over there we put in four uh, dogwoods this year uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, so it, it's fun to put in a uh, yellow fringe tree yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah so there's about five guys uh -huh, uh -huh. within it, so I'm not totally alone yeah, on it. And yeah. we are Is there it. anywhere in the garden that you could put a magnolia tree? Is there anywhere? I'm sure there is. Because mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. night we're about to build a beautiful home on a lot, and I was standing there at 10 to 8 last night, and I saw this magnolia that may come down, and it's not that big. It's probably as tall as this, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But I thought, I don't know if there is a magnolia in the garden. No, but no. That ought to be a crime to have a southern <laughs> garden and not a magnolia tree. Well, so maybe that, yeah. you, I can take you and show you this and you can climb up the hill 
and take your shovel <laughs> and dig this tree up. Because you can it's do really that. It might that take more than a shovel. Yeah, it might. <laughs> it, it might. might. And I, I actually know the guy who's operating the loader, and I might could get him to lift it and bring it down <laughs> for you. So that'd be nice. We have, that'd be awesome. We have one guy, Gary Burroughs, is a, does trees, and he'll bring uh, a truckload of trees and bushes as far as uh, yeah. on it. That's really kind of fun. And just yeah really gets involved with it. And again, the they're, they're preserving the past as they embrace the future because they're building a new home, but they want to maintain that foliage that's mm -hmm. been there forever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the lady slippers? Were y'all involved? Do you know about the lady slippers? Diane Smith, I believe, did a, 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 a rescue dig at an old home place. She if did, I, indeed. Yes, mm -hmm. yes she did. Mm -hmm. And they, that is something, do you ever offer lady slippers in the sale? Are no, there ever? No. Those are protected. You're protected. Those are protected. Yes, you can't sell those. Thought. They'll yeah. come and arrest you. But mm -hmm. lady yeah. slippers are... So you are, have to know yeah. somebody who has one to get one. That's correct. Yes. 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 And we do have a secret garden that one of the uh, folks has told us up, up by Gibbs Garden, uh -huh. by our waters falls. We're not going to tell anybody right away on it. Right. <laughs> we, gotta, we do it in, uh, in conjunction with the UGA. Uh -huh. But we've got maybe a, a half a dozen or a dozen lazy slippers, and they're, they are unique. They're, uh, I guess it'd be an, or, an orchid, or would it? But it, They look kind of like an orchid. Uh -huh. It looks like a they're pink lady delicate. slipper. Mm -hmm. And you could actually, if you were had a small enough foot, you could actually put, put your, your foot, foot in right there. in there. Yeah. It's just yeah. a, <laughs> <coughs> my toe wouldn't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. one of the things you're talking about mm -hmm. Easter and uh, uh, you know God's work in the garden. Uh, every flower is unique. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, you might you might like we have a dozen daylily uh, types on there, but you'll have yellow ones that are a little fluffy. Some of them that uh -huh. are look like a trumpet. Uh, and you know, they, the one nice thing about that is that you, there's always something unique about them mm -hmm, on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got some Confederate roses this year. They grow up about five to six feet high, beautiful pink and red flowers yeah. on oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Love beautiful. Confederate yeah. roses. Yeah. They're so yeah. beautiful. Um, Is there any quince in the garden? I do believe there's one. Mm -hmm. but Jenny so Byers has Jenny's so got one. Yes. yes. So yes. we're going to make sure that <coughs> we have more in yeah. the garden. They're so pretty. You know, the garden is always a work in progress. Mm -hmm. We'll always be looking to add something, you know, do something, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. so. Well, right now, we're going to take a music break, and we're going to go to a song. Mr. LJ just remastered this, so I'm allowed to play it now. I'm driving him crazy trying to get him to do a song about ball ground. I said, we have flowers, we have gardens, we had rocks for years and years and years. We have beautiful views of the mountains. I keep telling him there's a song about ball ground in your head. Well, he can't get it out of his head, but here's the song that he did get out of his head, and it's called Welcome to L.A.J. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to L.A.J. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills In a town called Ella J When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet What you see is exactly what you get If you come to Ella J Hey, Ella J A mighty fine place to be A town called Ella Jane. How you like 
run right through the middle of town And late in the evening when the sun goes down You can drive through and hear the happiest sounds Of the folks in L.A.J. Now way back in the summer of 73 The Red Dot parking lot was the place to be but you could get more than what you bargained for Back in those days in Ella J Yeah, you could <laughs> Ella J, a mighty fine place to be Ella J, good enough for you and me Yeah, 69 Road Runner You're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Jay, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. You know, how you feel on the inside yeah. is just as important to me as how you feel on the outside. Aw, oh, Daddy. <laughs> I've grown up, grown up, up in every way, in every way, care and take care of you. You're my grown up, and I know you're there. I'm your grown up, and you know I care. Cause it's you and me, and me, and you. So when you are okay, or not okay, I'll take care of you.
sister Don't you think it's time to go For black bears climb and waters flow Hummingbirds out on the deck Your feet propped up and what the hell Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. We want to invite you down to Ball Ground this weekend because this weekend Ball Ground is going to shine and you know that we're going to have a big to-do on April the 6th and it's, is it called Brews and Q or Barbecue and uh, Barbecue and Brews? Barbecue and Brews. Barbecue yeah. and, brews. Okay. and um, I don't drink, everybody knows that and I'm kind of a witch about drinking so <laughs> it's your privilege. I drink unsweet tea with lemon. <laughs> But we can't wait for people to come and see Ball Ground today because if you haven't seen Ball Ground lately, you haven't seen Ball Ground. That's true. We have Dominic's Mission, which is something that everybody we know volunteers for, donates food, donates money, helps them to do what they're doing. And you said they've got a new project going on. Can we talk yeah, about that? Uh, Dominic's Mission is, uh, is basically fun and, uh, funded and ran by Dominic's Pizza and, and group uh -huh. over there, uh, Miranda and, and Dominic and their, their daughter. Uh, so Dominic's Mission is right on Old Canton Road, uh -huh. and one of the things that they've wanted to do is a community garden. So the Ball Ground Men's, uh, men's Group is going to mm -hmm. build a nice, nice sized raised garden on there, and we'll be uh, with the Garden Club and other members uh, putting in vegetables to have fresh uh, vegetables for them from you know, lettuce and tomatoes and yeah. everything on that. And, and cucumbers. Yeah. Cucumbers grow so fast, and they're so good, and they're healthy. Yeah. They're healthy. Golly, they ain't nothing good. So it, it, Ooh, well, cucumbers you know, are good. We have volunteers like yourself who bring in food. Wilkes brings in 100 to 200 pounds of meat every week. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got corporate sponsors from UAC and Chart and uh, Apex Electric that, that uh, are corporate sponsors. We're now part of the Atlanta Food Bank, uh -huh. so we can go and, and get uh, good quantities of food on that. But we have a number of people that just drop by Thursdays, mm -hmm. and we'll bring in apples and potatoes they call up what are you what are you out of mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and everybody you know uh, you just mentioned you know, toiletry items yeah. toilet and oh, toothpaste yeah. so when people get a um, a fresh potato or an apple they just they go for it now the candy's supposed to be for the kids yeah yeah but there are some older kids that come in and do sneak a <laughs> sneak a candy bar and i but we just I, look the I other way i would say so yeah. yeah i would say so i would but, say so uh, it, it, we serve hundreds of people a week and uh, you do get a relationship with them mm -hmm. so I look forward to I, I work there on Thursdays meeting the same people over again hearing a story some of them been around here for like guess you know 70 and 80 years they know right. where every uh, every good piece of gossip is in the whole city and there. you know the sad thing about those people is I don't think ever in their life did they think they would need to go to a food pantry to get food That's these yes. are people who worked all their life took care of their children, took care of most of them, their mom and dad. And, and then at the end of their life, they can't afford to eat. Now that's a crime in America. It is, and there are many food banks on there. And, and I'm surprised sometimes when people drive up and you're like, they're at their wits end, they wanna be able to eat something. But it's a great community. Like I said, uh, we have, there's one fellow, I won't tell you who he is. He's become a good friend, but he comes in and gets a couple pork chops. Wow. Now, he doesn't have a stove, so he takes it to the local Waffle House, and they'll actually cook the pork chop for him. Oh, my gosh. How and, precious uh, is that? Yeah. Well, well, and yeah. that's what a community is yeah, about. Absolutely. absolutely. That's what a community is about. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. Well, we were at somebody's house on Saturday, Evelyn and I, and we were there to try to help her out of a bad situation. And as we were there, 
Mike and Diane walk up. And I said right there, God keeps showing up because yeah. they show up as we're there to help them. And it was so weird because I thought these people have lived there forever, but they're at the bottom of the barrel. They can't seem to climb out. They have some health issues, a lot of things going on. But local community gets together and local people show up to help and that's what it's about absolutely yeah that's hey. a signature mm -hmm. thing i think about ball ground mm -hmm. it's small town it's still growing but but everybody loves it mm -hmm. because everybody really gives so much it's a very giving community right that's one of the reasons i love it yeah yeah absolutely now how many years ago did y'all move there uh, ten years ago, myself on there. Okay. We just live outside uh, on the other side of the Etowah uh -huh. on there. And, and how many years ago did you move yeah. to Ball Ground? Uh, I've been in Ball Ground. Um, I've lived in Ball Ground technically since 2003. I remember the first time I went there with my grandmother to visit her friend Jewel Hubbard. I was 17 years old and I was driving a 66 Chevelle. And we were going to go up a steep driveway, and it was 372, had very little traffic then. <laughs> but I was terrified of that steep driveway. And, and today, I still think about going there with my grandmother, and it was when the Hubbard girls still had a store open. It was just, it was so, it was so quaint and so sweet then, and it's still that way. It's filled mm -hmm. with more people, and I won't say better people, but it's filled with some pretty cool people. Mm -hmm. And people who are choosing to move there, we hope that they want to maintain the same lifestyle that's been there forever. Just take care of your neighbor, take care of your friends, mm -hmm. give back. Well, it's a good walking community. Mm -hmm. It's nice and mostly level, mm -hmm. which is pretty good on there. So you get to meet a lot of people on a very, very pet friendly. Yeah. Um, very. Yeah. I wish I had a dime for every dog that walks by <laughs> on the leash, and, and it's a daily routine. You know mm -hmm. who's coming, when they're coming, what their dog's name is, mm -hmm. and here they come. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the town does have a few characters. I'm not going to name yes, any names yes. on there, but <laughs> we have some. You know who it is. Yeah. So there are some good regulars on there, yeah, and yeah. Uh, they're all sweet on it. Yeah. But uh, you know the town, uh, you know it. it when it was going through all of the uh, the marble like that, you know, it had its own power plant with mm -hmm. all self-contained right. your own water system on there. So it's yeah. been around and gone through many different cycles on there. Exactly. So yeah. it's, it's, it's fun now. The, the, they have a bunch of new commissioners. Actually, three of the commissioners the council. are, uh, council council. are in, the, in the garden club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that helps with the, uh, the community and the, yeah. uh, the content in yeah. there. Uh, mm -hmm. Onyx just across the street just put in a really beautiful <gasps> custom I want that table. thing if you come and it's <laughs> missing. I will not tell you where. I love that. It is gorgeous on oh, there. It's, it's a it's seat. Isn't it just a little garden seat? A well, little table. It's table. A, it's a yeah. metal so cool. aluminum picnic table and what they've done is they've got the ability to do plasma cutting decorations in metal. Uh -huh. So one side of it it's a plants and it has an awning over the top of it. It's and awesome. It's just a very, very awesome, quiet little yeah. place right by yeah. the, you know, right, right in the middle of the garden mm -hmm. on it. And again, when when we think about companies who make a difference, when when Linwood Development first started developing ball ground, the first thing I did was took him to the garden club, and he was standing there with Jenny, and I have a picture of that day. It was Jenny and Paula, and he and I, and and I was explaining the garden club to him and sharing all that with him. Well, you know that he then put in an irrigation system yeah, for y'all. Yeah. Yep. And it well, was crazy. So yes, because that. he asked me, he said, how do they water all of these? And I said, they slip around these old hoses. And they said, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, you know, a, a story that we tell about when the garden, uh, when the botanical garden got started, there was no water source except for the little creek that runs through. Oh, wow. So the ladies that uh, started the garden literally laid on their stomachs to dip water out of the creek yeah. and water the plants. Wow. So uh, the city's been very good to us too yeah. in helping with all these things, get us electricity and and uh, helping us take care of it. And uh, it's just good cooperation with everybody. Everybody is like, it's for the common good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So yeah. we're very, very pleased, and we are very, very pleased to have an irrigation system. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the garden truly is free to everybody. Now, mm -hmm. the, the big to-do that's going to happen very soon is the big tea party that's every year. The council tea party. Oh, my 
gosh, the food. <laughs> These ladies really try to outdo each other, and I love that they do because mm -hmm. I always get to go. And, and I'm always like, oh, I hope that lady brings back that stuff she made last year because mm -hmm. there are some amazing cooks, too. So Well, I can tell you they're planning it again. I mean, we're, you know, already planning the food. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, exciting, exciting. Well, it's a whole lot of fun. We'll have a hat contest and mm -hmm. uh, table decorations. Yeah. Table decorations. Uh, it's just a good time. Yeah, yeah. I, d I don't attend because I don't wear a hat. You don't wear a You don't wear a I do, I do steal some of the, <laughs> borrow some of the food on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, there, Bellground Garden Club is one of the, one of the larger ones in the state and is growing on it, mm -hmm. but there's over, there's over 60 garden clubs just in our district. Uh-huh, isn't that uh, wild? And they all do different things from sixes up mm -hmm. to LOJ and like uh -huh. that, and they're very the involved in the community. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So they'll be there. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a, a, a new thing we're doing this year is we're having a Grand Marshal. Mm -hmm. And this year the Grand Marshal is going to be Ashley Frasca. Uh, she worked with Walter Rees on Green and Growing, and she also does traffic on 750, 95, uh -huh. 5, and 97. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. she's there. Uh, she's a master gardener uh -huh. now, and she'll, she'll be a... They're coming in with her dog, Neat. which is larger than her. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, and vis visiting all the people and uh, hopefully buying some plants as well. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. That's neat. And, and as you grow and as you develop, I know y'all also do a scholarship program. We do several yeah. scholarship programs. 4-H uh, was, we, we did, was it two mm -hmm. last year? I'm not sure on how many we did. Do you do yeah. FFA? I Future Farmers of America. I know what they yeah, I grew yeah. up with those. Yeah. Um, I don't think we do it this present well, time, but we we're should. always we should. We should. Get, get yeah. involved for yeah. more ways yeah. to give back. Yeah. The, the yeah. Farm Bureau Co op, Cherokee mm -hmm. Farm Bureau Co op, will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, we gave them a booth this year free, mm -hmm. and they're going to be doing a kids' activity for us yeah. to mm -hmm. kind of coordinate it on there. But we, we do work with the Cherokee uh, Garden Club and, and uh, many events. Several on that, master uh, gardeners in the club. Several. Yeah. I can't even name them all. Of course, no. uh, Diane is, and and Cindy and Mike and uh, Dennis, Dennis yeah. and uh, uh, Portia. Portia I is on uh, that too. I can't That's remember. I'm going to forget well, somebody. They're going to get mad at me, but yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> we take the summer off, but uh, the second Tuesday of every month was we have our our meeting, mm -hmm. and there's always a presentation of some type on some type of propagation. Mm -hmm. Doing this, we have right. we've had the. Uh, President of the uh, Native Azalea Club talking uh, for us, but we also do a food spread on that as well. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We have a theme. And Remember that. the tree guy that we brought that it could have stayed all yeah. day long because yeah. there were a million questions. Oh, Everybody, goodness. he was so he, interesting. He, yeah. he, it was fabulous. He yeah. was really, really good. Yeah, yeah. And you missed really two good ones. Jenny Byers did a history of the Garden Club. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was so, from the beginning to the end, it was such a wonderful presentation. We're trying to get it on video. No, I think she's mm -hmm. been with the club for, I can't tell you. Over 50 was, years. Yes. Over, okay. over, over 50. 50. And she yeah. joined when she was Since two. she was yeah. uh, 18. Yeah, Eight, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, we don't go into that A lot that of years, yeah. but yes. It's crazy. Yeah. And sh then she did, oh, and this was fun. Um, we, we should have had some pictures of that. Uh, she did a uh, demonstration on flower uh, arranging. I was there that day. Yes, yes. you were. Yes, you were I videoed there. the men doing flower arrangements. Yes, and yes. That, that was a lot Actually, of fun. Actually, it's on YouTube because <laughs> after I did it, I put it on YouTube. Well, so. I haven't <laughs> seen it. Yeah. I shall have to go yeah. and look well, at I it. I think I won, but yeah. you guys, yeah. we, we were just being nice to everybody on uh, that time. Yeah, yeah. So mine, mine yeah. did work on well, it. Well, there's too. something. I was looking around my bathroom this morning as I was getting ready, and I have a, a towel hanging in my bathroom that's a little hand towel. It's embroidered with flowers. And then I look around and I have another towel hanging there and it's embroidered with flowers. And there's something about a flower that just makes you feel good. It Absolutely. just makes you feel good. If somebody shows up even with a daisy for you, mm -hmm. it brings joy. You it's know, like you and get endorphins. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, from, yeah, you know, absolutely. From flowers. I, I wish that there. The one thing that I wonder, maybe later, as grandkids come along, y'all could do a children's area where the children could start yep. with a seed, start with a plant, see how it, you save the seeds in the winter or in the fall, and then you replant them. Yes. Yes. we did one yeah. uh, at the library for the children. Now we haven't done one at the garden, which would be a good thing for us to do. We're always exploring new avenues uh -huh. but we did do one um, at the library last summer it was a lot of fun the kids uh, you know we gave them cups and seeds and 
helped them plant, and mm -hmm. uh, I we, believe it was Patty McNorton gave yeah. them magic water uh -huh, <laughs> to, uh -huh. to water them with. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> well, we do have a, a, an area designated from the original plan uh, for the kids' area on there, and we've got a few things in it, but just mm -hmm. uh, it's just a, a matter of volunteering yeah, on, it, yeah. on there. So and kids involved. really, I, I did a garden for my children, and I did things that would surprise them because I planted carrots and beets, and they were like, every, you know, the potatoes are, are underground and the carrots and beets are underground. Everything else is coming up, and they're seeing cucumbers and squash and all these other things, and they said, well, where's that stuff? And then when we dug it out from under the ground, they were like, wow, that is so <laughs> weird. And, and the carrots were the first one. Yeah. They were like, oh, is that where Bugs Bunny gets his carrots? <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, it's under the ground. So we do have really an neat. herb garden uh, mm -hmm. with different things, mm -hmm. and you're welcome to come and clip whatever you need on it. There's a fig tree and some blueberry bushes, and, and we can when the fig tree is, is ripe, I don't know who in the neighborhood comes <laughs> in, but th they those, like those <laughs> figs go pretty quickly in there. So. Well, they, they're pretty prolific. They keep giving. Uh -huh. I think it was in November last year mm -hmm. that there were still Still a few. giving. Yeah. Kids. Wow, wow, wow. Well, we're going to give you something else right now. We're going to give you another song by Mr. Ella J. And this is one that I force fed made him write. Somebody wanted him to write a song about the mountains. And he said, I don't have time. I can't do it. Well, I made him do it and he did it. So <laughs> you're going to get to hear Mountain Life. And it is the music that you hear in the Malone's Pond commercial because it absolutely fits our lifestyle. So sit back and listen.
Okay, guys, you've got a project going on that's new and dear to both your hearts. It involves a rock and a plaque. Tell us about it. <laughs> we are super excited to be in the process of getting a gold star and a blue star marker in the botanical garden. Uh, it's a long process, so it may be the fall before we can do it, but uh, uh, we're working with the city. The city is donating the big rocks that are going to be placed in the botanical garden across from where the memorial bricks are. Mm -hmm. um, for the veterans and all of our veterans. Well, not the bigger one, the smaller one in the mm -hmm. garden uh, where you can buy bricks from the garden, but it will be right across from that. There will be both of them, both a blue star and a gold star marker. And so we've just started this process. You might process. say that what, what those, the gold star and blue star markers are for. Um, the blue star, uh, I know, is like from just vet, veterans in general and, yes. and that. Mm -hmm. and, and the gold star is for, for those who gave their, their gave lives. Their life, right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So we've been, we've been involved with the blue star marker maintaining it over at the Georgia National Cemetery mm -hmm. out on 20, which is a, uh, it, it looks like Arlington. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. it is just rows and rows. Everybody, yeah. if you think you're having a bad day, get in your car and yeah. drive out to 20 and go through mm -hmm. that cemetery and look at how many lives were lost yeah. or given. Mm -hmm. So you could have a good day. Absolutely. And there is um, one of the things that we're involved with the two is wreaths across America. Uh, every year they put a wreath on every single mm -hmm. one of the uh, mm -hmm. markers gravestones yep. Yep. in that mm -hmm. and it's an unbelievable event right really right nice. that's one of the things that i've donated to for years yeah yeah it's it's boy you talk about a site yeah yeah mm -hmm. and you think but the, about the that. city just also put together a uh, new veterans memorial right next to the mm -hmm. garden and we're helping them maintain on that, right. and that that's where we'll have a lot of the the new uh, area for the more vendors we're going to have this year but it's a very pretty thing, and you can buy bricks on that too, mm -hmm. specifically for it on right. there. So the whole garden area is expanding because uh, the Valley Street is a park now. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice level walk again, mm -hmm. uh, but they're putting in a gazebo and uh, flowers and different artifacts along the way. So it's a nice, easy walk there and back to the garden. Mm -hmm. So people come in, they park in the garden, walk down, uh, walk down the Valley Street. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, park and then come on back and rest. One of the <laughs> things that we try to encourage people to do is start at the marker in town that talks about the Indian yes. battle. Yeah. I love that and marker. And we tell mm -hmm. them from that marker you can walk mm -hmm. down and you can go all the way down and we even tell them you can walk to the Waffle House and eat a waffle because by yeah. the time you walk <laughs> down there you've walked off all the calories that the Waffle yes, House Yes, yeah. absolutely. So, so walk down to the Waffle House and eat and then walk back up. Yeah. Well the Garden Club does maintain, there's two two small raised gardens of flowers in there, mm -hmm. but there is the, on the corner uh, of uh, Valley Street and the Main Street right by the ice cream store mm -hmm. and, the, and the railroad track is uh, the sign about the, the the last Indian battle that happened a couple mm -hmm. hundred years ago, which right. is uh, still uh, down 372 by the Edward River on that. Mm -hmm. So it talks about that battle, and then there's a, a Veterans Memorial there, a Boy Scout mm -hmm. thing. So people come there, and uh, just learning the, you know, the city's been around, I think, in 1873. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's been around for a long mm -hmm. time, a lot of history on it. You know so. something, I was walking somebody through town this week who'd never been to Ballgram before, and I was showing her downtown, and and the one thing that they commented on was the murals. Mm -hmm. And the murals, yes. we have to give so such beautiful. credit to that. The University of Georgia yep. art team mm -hmm. who came in and did my favorite, I'm getting cold chills talking about it, the Indian one. Yes. Oh my gosh. Those women were amazing. And it's then after incredible. they finished the two big ones they came to do, they did the small one about the train. About the train, And yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. And this yeah. is local talent from the University of Georgia. Yes, it was fabulous. Um, and one of the things I did want to mention about uh, the Blue and Gold Star is we're going to, um, we have the big memorial there from the city, uh, but there are a lot of people that they don't have a place to go, like uh -huh. at the cemetery, they don't know where their loved ones are, uh, or they're too far away from where they are. So we're hoping to keep that a nice Twink, uh, like a prayer yes. area. Like they can, you know, we're going to put benches close by mm -hmm. so that they can just sit, you know, and they know they're not there, but that's where they can feel close to them. Right. And another thing uh, that at some point in time, there's something new, if I'm getting this correct, uh, it's called a white star marker. 
and that is for the families of uh, military suicide. Wow, oh yeah. Victims. Every day in America while we've been sitting here on the air, over a hundred veterans took their lives. Mm -hmm. Over a hundred veterans every single day. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just, it's absolutely unheard of. But we have homeless mm -hmm. vets and then we are, don't get me started, and then we are handing cards to people crossing into my country illegally, and we're giving them a $10,000 card so they can go to a hotel, they can go to a restaurant, and we're burying homeless vets who are committing yep. suicide. Mm -hmm. and they get a phone. We ought to be ashamed. Yeah. Yeah. We get a phone and too. the families yeah. of the victims left behind, yeah. you know, uh, uh, it's, they need to be remembered as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. You know. But, you know, the community can do a part two, not just the government, and that's mm -hmm. what's uh, very you know, they've got the Lions Club, the Ball Ground Business Club, the Ball Ground, you know, um, Men's Bible Group on there. Mm -hmm. all, Let's talk a little bit about that Bible group because it's going to have a meeting, mm -hmm. is it um, April? Is it in May. April or May? It's on May 2nd. Mm -hmm. uh, May 2nd. National Day of Prayer um, is an event that's, that's been going on for many, many years. But at the Wheeler House, mm -hmm. where everybody knows where that is, mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock on May 2nd, uh, we're going to have seven different pastors mm -hmm. from six different churches each pray about uh, the government, school, the military, mm -hmm. and a private prayer on there. One other thing yeah. they pray about is the media, because you know how the many media... Entertainment media, yeah. We, we know one station that mentions the Bible and mentions the Lord, yeah. and that's about the only station that does, which is a shame, but they do yeah. pray for the media. Well, yeah. David mm -hmm. Stein of uh, Revolution Church came from that area so mm -hmm. he's he's praying for them specifically mm -hmm. on it but i this you know getting the churches together is something that uh, i wish you would do more yeah but also is very significant and, and we do have it will be a little bit of music uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, daryl does a great elvis so he's going to be singing mm -hmm. amazing grace for us wow wow so we'll have it so it's on may 2nd at nine o'clock the national day of prayer i'm excited uh, that's, please that's, come oh, and yeah. uh you know uh, bring and your, it on your, a thursday Yes, it is. May yes, 2nd, yeah. Thursday okay. on that. So, and it's a, it is a national event. So we had about, yeah, last year was the first year we did it, and we had about 75 people. Oh, yeah. So, the only problem yeah. where we had it last year, you couldn't hear for That's the traffic right. going by, and you couldn't even hear the prayer. So I'm yeah. so glad it's going to be moved inside this year. Well, the Wheeler House has been very generous yeah. uh, to the to the community. Uh, we actually did uh, hosted the Laurel District meeting there and had right. over a, uh, 60 different garden clubs, 140 mm -hmm. people, speakers, and arrangements on that. So the Wheeler, was, Wheelers yeah. have been very generous mm -hmm. to the community on yeah. that. So. And, and yeah. Gary Conway, our publicist. He's awesome. He he's is. awesome. He's, he's so awesome. calm. He's never, you know, yeah. just very calm. Yeah. But he's going to be there to have camera in hand. Make sure that we can hear yeah. Yeah. well. Yeah. That's awesome. Because <laughs> he's awesome. an audiovisual person. That's awesome. yeah. Well, look at the time, guys. Time flies. Time <laughs> flies when you're having fun. So we're going to have to get out of here. It is time for us to say goodbye. And we want to remind you on May the 11th, May come the 11th. to downtown ball ground. The plant sale, not only the plant sale, a way to get to know the tiny town that we truly love. We'll see you again soon on ETC. Don't forget, this is going to be on YouTube. Just go to Sherry Martin and subscribe and hit it. And you can watch it anytime you want to. Bye, y'all.